Hey, this is Brian from ConvertingEV.com. Uh, I'm super excited. Sorry about the wind. This is springtime in southeast Idaho, which is great because the snow's gone, but it means lots of wind here. Um, but it's warming up and we're getting to our project, so I'm excited about that. Uh, so the course that I'm making for ConvertingEV.com, the first uh, course that's to follow along with the build um, for kind of budget beginners to learn, I'm using the donor vehicle as a 1982 Toyota pickup, which is right behind me here. And uh, it's not just any pickup. This was my wife's in high school. Uh, about eight years ago, uh, she had just graduated high school and she was driving to work in the dark and hit a bull elk in western Washington um, and did some major damage to this truck. My father-in-law fixed it and uh, within a few weeks she hit another bull elk. Uh, she was fine through both accidents, but the car was not. So let me show you real quick what we got. So it's been sitting for eight years. The paint looked great before. I'll show, show you some pictures. But here's the front of it now. Totally smashed. But the interior is great. The frame is great. Everything about it is great. So this is what we're using. We're gonna try and save it with electric. Let me talk about what we're using for that. So this, this is my electric Ford Courier. Runs awesome. I love zipping around town with electric, especially with gas prices. So I have another, this is a Chevy Volt battery pack. I have another one of these sitting in my shop right now that will work great for a beginner battery for this truck. I might upgrade it to Tesla later on uh, to get some more range, but this battery should get us about 50 miles of range at least on this thing. And I have sitting in the bed here our Nissan Leaf motor. I've got all the parts to make this thing run. I've got an adapter plate for it, and I got an adapter plate to the Toyota transmission, and we got a Toyota clutch, and we have the shaft for the leaf motor, so we're going to do some machining and make a coupler between that and the center of the clutch plate um, and mount this sucker into this truck. Throw the Chevy Volt battery in it, it's going to be awesome. And then uh, probably going to do some bigger tires, bigger leaf springs. Uh, some modifications. I actually already bought uh, two sets of lockers and differentials with lockers in them already for it. So it's going to be a beast. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I know a lot of people might, the Toyota guys might freak out that I'm putting electric in it and I'm ruining such a beautiful car, but it was either parted out or make it electric. I also actually bought this cab for it, which has all the parts I need. Grill, the grill is included and the hood. Um, the fenders, so it's ready to be saved. It's going to be fun. Let's talk about the motor real quick. So this is the EM57 out of a Nissan Leaf and uh, 2015 Leaf. Got it for 200 bucks. Um, it's a good deal. This motor, okay, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but just from if I remember correctly, the 22R, which is the motor this truck has, uh, indestructible, awesome little motor weighs about 200 and something pounds i don't know but its peak peak torque at around 3500 rpm i think was 130 ish foot pounds of torque that's peak um with the 200 pound motor this so that's a, like a little over 100 horsepower which is translates to around 80 something kilowatt um, of power which gas guys don't talk and combustion engine guys don't talk about kilowatt but electric does so this electric motor is at 80 kilowatt it can be modified with the inverter to go a lot more but it's limited at 80 kilowatt right now and its peak torque currently is at 187 foot pounds and that torque curve starts at peak torque from zero rpm all the way up until around 4,000 rpm and then it starts to taper down but it can run up around past 8,000 rpm i think even to 10,000 rpm so the gearing some of you ask why aren't i going to keep the clutch i'm just using the center of the clutch and making a, a straight shaft coupler to the transmission i don't need all the gears it's nice to have the option to shift through my five speed to get for different uh, torque at different speeds but i should be good to put it in second and run all the way up to freeway speeds on it but we'll see i haven't uh, done one with this motor yet so i'm excited to do that 
Um, and I'm excited to show you all the parts we got and how it's going to all go together. Follow along on this YouTube channel, subscribe, or uh, also check out convertingev.com to see other updates and to learn uh, how to do your own conversions. I'll make more videos on the Ford Courier because it's a sweet car and I haven't shown it enough, but it's really fun. I love driving it around. So anyway, share your thoughts and uh, see you next time.